Hello! In today's video, I'm making this daisy dress. This fabric is 100% cotton with a cute little daisy print perfect for spring. I started by cutting out the front of the dress, then the back of the dress. And finally, some skirt panels to create a big ruffle. I added some darts to the bust area. Then, I also added some darts around the waist. They looked a little like this. Then, I sewed them in. At the end of each dart, I tied a knot instead of backstitching for a clean finish. Behold! The pencil knot! After finishing the darts, I closed the back seam for the zipper. Then, I decided to get some fresh air. <gasps> A squirrel! Hello! Hello, little friends! I pinned down the zipper and began attaching it to the dress. It actually turned out pretty good this time. I outlined some curves at my waist because my body is shaped more like a guitar than a kalimba, so I needed to add a little shape. I did a rolled hem along the top of the dress. Rolling hems by hand can be a bit dicey, but it turned out nice. The supervisor stopped by for a moment to check in before her next meeting. I connected the skirt panels and did a rolled hem along the bottom. We all took a quick lunch break, pellets, shrimp and tuna, and a grapefruit for me. I tried a new ruffle technique using my fingers to bunch the fabric under the sewing foot. I know it's a bit predictable, but I love a good ruffle. I went ahead and added the ruffle to the dress. Since I was in such a springy mood, I decided to get a jump start on my garden. I started out with these jiffy pods and put them in a container with water to activate them. Then I poked some little holes before adding my seeds. Finally, I put their little protective greenhouse on top. Back to sewing. And then I made some straps out of extra fabric and attached them to the dress. Then it was time for the reveal. When I spin in this dress, it reminds me of those flying Barbie fairy toys.
Remember those?